This is the new Sea Ray Sunsport 230, fitted with a 250 horsepower Mercury. Now I've got two very interesting things to tell you about this. So let's go and have a look. Okay, the first thing I'd like to say before we get into the video is please can you subscribe to this channel if you love our really bad filming but our lovely boats. That's the first thing I want to tell you about. The two things that I really wanted to tell you about, most people I notice on YouTube leave it till the end. However, when I'm watching those videos I get really bored because I just want to know what those two things are. So I'm going to tell you those now. The first thing is, this is the first boat that I'm going to show you a video of that I don't want you to buy. And the reason I don't want you to buy it is because I can't get another one until Christmas time. And the second thing is that officially we are now Sea Ray dealers for the east coast of the UK. So now we've got that out of the way, let's move on to the rest of the boat. So the boat is powered by this Mercury 250 horsepower V8 4.6 litre petrol outboard. It will drive the boat to about 45-50 knots. Now lots of customers ask me how much fuel do these outboards use? And the answer is absolutely tons. But it'll be the best fun you've ever had on the water. Okay, the Sea Ray 230 has this lovely walkthrough transom, which as you can see here is very easy to get on and off the boat. This boat's also fitted with the Flexi Teak. You can have it in uh, this kind of wood colour, teak colour, or a grey colour. Um, if I come through into here, this is then the main cockpit of the boat and you can see there's space for lots of people. What I like is you can probably get eight or nine of you sat in this cockpit here. This boat is fitted with loads of different optional upgrades. I couldn't remember them all so I brought the options list. The main ones are uh, the captain's package which is various sun cushions which I'll show you in a minute and covers and the elevation package which is this lovely tower for wakeboarding etc. Now I'll show you some other details which I quite like. The first thing is the all important call box. So it's got a call box under here which is uh, an igloo for your beers and wine and water if that's what you want and then under here you've got um, a refrigerated space as well um, which has got a cooler plate so you can put heavy uh, bottles in there, anything else you want to cool, um, food, etc. And then under this seat, there's even more storage. I mean, it's huge. I don't even know what you could put in there, um, but it's big anyway. This boat has also got the um, upgraded light, so it puts like a gentle glow all over the cockpit. But I can't show you that today because it's quite a bright day. Moving on to the dashboard. This boat has got the digital dashboard. Um, sea Ray um, have really um, uh, kind of evolved this over the last few years. If you remember the old American boats used to have a big um, array of dials and we couldn't fit plotters in them. So um, as the years have gone by, people have said, oh, can I fit a chart plotter? And we, there was nowhere for us to put it. So Sea Ray have just said, look, let's go digital dash. And this screen here, which is made by Simrad, actually does all your engine controls and your GPS and your depth and everything you might want. So that's a really nice feature. Okay, so on the foredeck, you've got this lovely stainless steel anchor and electric windlass, um, and the chain is stored in here. Um, and it's got a remote control, which is quite neat. I'll just shut that there. But then the fav my favorite feature is this lovely sunbed and I remember being at the boat shows with all my colleagues and it's always very good to demonstrate the sunbed <laughs> and imagine yourself, instead of being in Essex, <laughs> being in the south of France and having a uh, G&T. Don't laugh, Jake. Obviously, you've got to transport people to where they're going to be with their boat. A car park in Essex is not glamorous. Okay, so this is the helm position. We've got all the normal features, you know, the power trim. This one's got trim assist, which means it auto trims the boat to make it efficient and save you to press so many buttons. But more importantly, it's got a really good stereo. It's got a fusion control, which you control here, and it's got speakers all around the boat, so you get maximum sound. 
you've also got drinks holder here and phone chargers so you can charge your phone up and Bluetooth the music to the stereo. So it's quite a nice helm. But the best bit about it is this boat has got a massive shout window. Because what you do, you move this bolster up like this, you stand up like this, so you're driving, and you go, Oi! Get out of the way! Sorry, not Paul, not you, Paul. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Um, and it means that you've got great visibility when you're driving the boat. Okay, this is the cuddy cabin. As you can see, it's very small. So I'm not gonna spend much time in here and I don't suggest you do. All I would say is it has got a toilet, which is very, very handy. Okay, to wrap it up, I just wanna show you the storage here. Because the boat is outboard powered, this would normally be where the inboard would be. But now you've got outboard, you've got this lovely space here, which you can put loads of toys, life jackets, fenders, food, drink, and all the different things you need when you're going skiing for the day. Kids will love this boat. We have got it here for sale, but you can't buy it. Because we need to show a seat ray uh, to our customers to show them the quality and finish. So we'll have to speak to you individually about your future Sea Ray requirements. We're so excited to be doing um, Sea Ray and selling Sea Ray for the East Coast of England. And we hope you can pop down and see us and look at one of these wonderful boats. Bye for now.